welcome to another episode of One to One, the show where I interview some of the best names in UK music or who I think are going to go on to do amazing things. On today's show, we've got this guy, it's Mr. Energy, right here. Greetings, <laughs> Masterpiece. Man, so my saying, bro. Thank you, man. for coming down, man. Anytime, man. My bro. Um, so to start things off, man, I want to talk about the live shows. Because that's one thing that, like, anytime I hear anyone that has, has heard of you, they might, not even, they might not even be a fan, but I say, oh, Masterpiece, and they're like, Oh, that's that guy I heard about him the other day. Like he's mad energetic and he's just like he yeah, says, man. like, what, do, what what happens with your with your shows? Like what what mode do you go into when it comes Violence. to shows? Violence, <laughs> <laughs> Violence mode. Do you know why? Because it's like I, I feel like there's many artists like to, in today's music, right? That like they get bare booking for sick venues and sick shows, and it's like I watch their performance, and it's like they're not even giving it their all. Mm. Like it just looks like they're just doing it just to do it. Do you know what I mean? Like there's no heart. Like like what I see things like. If whatever you do, yeah, you put your hundred into it, innit? Yeah. Whether you're cleaning the toilets or you're performing in front of a thousand people, you put your heart into it, innit? So it's like, not nothing half-hearted. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? And like, I feel performers, like, nowadays, like, art, if big artists are now, I'll do, like, now, are just performing just to perform, like. Mm. It's like, they're not even doing it, putting their heart and soul into it. I'm putting, when I go to the stage, I know I'm going to give you 100%. You're going to have the best show of your life, whether it's 10 people or 10,000 people. I will make sure that 10 people will enjoy the best show ever, innit? Mm. Do you know what I mean? They're like, that's why I thought when it comes to shows, no one can really touch what me and my peoples are on, like, when it comes to shows, because really and truly, we're laying it down, like, we're giving them what they want, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. crowd surfing when there's, like, about 10 man fam, we don't even care, like, we make sure you have the best show mm, ever, mm. like, and that's just facts, like, facts still. So how was, um, Apple Sap, you did Apple Sap recently yeah, with, that like, M. Huntro and, like, Kenny All-Star, like, some, some big names out there, man, like. Apple Sap got spun. Yeah? We spun it, like, <laughs> we spun it. All the men, them 12, A, B, N, T, N, we spun it, like, when I tell you, like, apples at people, like, they said they've never seen nothing like it. <laughs> like, mum was in my boxes, fam. Mum was performing in my boxes. Like, told me, yeah, your favourite rapper that can do that. Like, like really give it to them. Like, mum was in the crowd performing in my boxes. Like, anyone could have banged man, anyone could have hit man or anything like that. And I didn't even give a shit. Like, mm. I'm there in the centre. Like, let them know, like, engagement with the audience. Like, I want the audience to be on a ride. Like, they're performing as well. Like, I want yeah. everyone to feel like they're doing it. Like me, innit? Like everyone's getting gas. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Where, like, whether you're getting gas or anyone else demand them, do you know what I mean? Like, everybody needs to be involved for it to pop. Cause then they can say, "Raw, I went to Masterpiece show the other day, and he let me come on stage." That's what I want. Yeah. I like, like, I see better artists. Like, they they don't use stage like stage presence. Like, like I know if you're looking at Masterpiece, you're looking at like there's a lot that you're seeing, and you're seeing everything, and like you're seeing me and my peoples and that and like I'll get the crowd involved if there's one guy at the front that is gassed and he's loving it I'm like come bro like enjoy it like come yeah. with us enjoy it with us like let's do this like do you know what I mean not acting all bougie and like saying yeah man stay there so, like come on bro like everybody got to be involved fam even the bar ladies fam if they want to dance come up man let's do this like mm -hmm. let's dance man let's do it like do you know them way? Because that's how you get, that's how you make a show, that's how you make people enjoy it. Like, they want to be there, like, they, mm. they want to do it. Because really and truly, I don't, I, well, I feel like I'm going to get one soon, but I don't have, like, a, an, a a big name at the moment. But, like, people are hearing about me, like, my name's getting about, do you know what I mean? So it's like, I want these guys, I want to show, like, all the big guys, like, to take a note from what I'm doing, innit? Because I feel, out of anyone right now, I don't think anyone can really touch what I'm doing, like. Mm. And that's just levels, like. No one, I can't go and look through any Link Up TV, JRM, SBTV, and find another masterpiece, because you won't. Like, and that's just levels, in it. I don't try and beat anyone but myself, innit? Yeah. Do you know them ways? So it's just like, so it's how what it is. How would you define your style? Like, what is, what is masterpieces? It's, it's everything. Like, like... It's everything. Like, it's from, like, uh, some days, yeah, I would listen to Nirvana and I want to do a bit of rock. So I'm like, I just holler at the man, I'm like, Jocelyn, or holler at, like, yes, to say, Star One. I say, bruv, look at in the studio, man, just drop a beat, let's do guitars. Mm. Like, the other day, I, I was with um, 
Amari, we were in the studio, and I was like, bruv, like, I got a girl coming around, like, I want to do, like, a like an indie song, and he's like, bruv, I got you, like, that's things I want to do, like, mm-hmm. like I feel music's so saturated these days, like, everybody just wants to do, oh, baby, come wine on me, and, yeah, that's your banger, like, <laughs> do you know what I mean, like, one hits, like, I want to make a tune where it could have lost, like, you see, if you play B.I.G. Hypnotise in a dance, you know the song could go off every single time, do you know what I mean, there, so it's like, yeah, man. I feel my thing is just like everything. Like I do everything. Mm. But the one thing I don't really do is Afrobeat, which you would just never hear from me. Like, <laughs> it's just not going down. Like why not? Man, it's just <laughs> air, man. Afro wave, Afro beat. Everyone's just doing it, man. It's just that's not me. So like, is that why? Is that, is that why? Because yeah, everyone man. else is doing it. So you don't everyone's want to... doing it. Like me, I'm the guy that I like to do my own thing. Like mm. whether people like it or not, I'm like mama. Like whether you're gonna like it or not, like you're gonna hear it, you're gonna see it. And mm. I'm gonna be there wherever you look in it. That's what I'm saying. I refuse to jump on that Afro trap, Afro bullshit wave, like because <laughs> all of them are tense, man. Like, it's just all the songs I hear these days are just so tense, and it's just like when is there gonna be a change like when is someone gonna come and say you know what fuck this I'm gonna do something different mm. until then I'm just gonna carry on working and doing what I gotta do levels so like, that's one thing like just even hearing you talk like, that's one thing that everyone or well, especially me anyway like from when I met you like that hunger that you have for the music and so like how did you even get into music in the first place like where did it start imagine I was in class leisure and tourism yeah we're in, we're in, we're in year 11 isn't it? and with all the mandem and that yeah it's on the computer and then I was just like this was around time straight off uh, straight out of Compton was coming out, innit? Like okay. this was around that time, innit? So cool. My boy was like, he he was popping in school, like he obviously everyone was like, oh yeah, LK's next to blow, like fan man them, LK's next to blow, like red, da, 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 da. everyone's fucking with LK, red, da, 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 da. like people like known artists were fucking with him, innit? So I was just like, all right, cool. I said to him, I can make a tune, and I promise you, it'll pop more than yours, innit? on SoundCloud, like, I'll get more listens than you. And he started laughing, like, you're busting up, like, you're cracking up in my face. Like, I was like, bro, why are you laughing? Like, he's like, fam, you don't even rap. Like, how are you going to do it? And I was just like, bro, if you're seeing it, just give me, like, I'm going to go to studio and I'm going to do it. Like, I'm actually going to do this. And uh, he was like, all right, cool, we'll see, innit? Like, we made a bet. Like, I said, bro, I promise you, my lessons will get more than yours, innit? And I don't rap, fam. So imagine, I went home, innit? And obviously my boy, that's why I say things happen for a reason, innit? My boy lent me straight out of Compton, like he had it, innit? So he, like, he sent it to me now. So I'm watching it and I clocked how Easy e never knew how to rap, innit? Right. Like he didn't know how to rap. Like all his men were laughing at him. So then I was just like, you know what, yeah? I could do this, like. If Easy e didn't know how to rap, I like, look at Easy e mm. So how the fuck I could do it, innit? Yeah, like, yeah. I was like, fuck it, I can do it. <laughs> so I've gone yard now. And I've, I'm in bed, in it, And I'm writing lyrics. Like, I'm just writing anything down. And it doesn't even flow. But I was just like, ooh, yeah, all right, cool. And like the first lyrics I wrote was like, they didn't want to know, calling me, belling off my phone. Like, that's all I said, literally, which is repetitive, <laughs> like that. Like that, that was the chorus. Mm. But the beat, yeah, it just slapped. It was a YouTube beat, it just slapped. So imagine, man just made the tune and the, and the chorus was just going off, like, like they didn't want to know. Like, there was ad libs, perfect. Yeah. Like, it was, it was actually, I remember the song so well. Like, it's not on SoundCloud anymore, so you'll never find it. <laughs> but the fact is, that was a banging tune. Cool, man dropped it on SoundCloud on Sunday, innit? Man dropped it now. And then people, it went off. Like, it hit a K listens in a week. Mm. And I don't have SoundCloud. This was my first song. This was the first song I dropped. But people rated that the fact that, one, it was a bet, and I actually proved the point. And two, it was like, it was not too bad, for considering for a guy that doesn't really rap. Like, yeah, yeah. I had a few laughs here and there. Like, people were like, raw peace, I don't really get it. Like, <laughs> this is not really cool. Like, I don't really like it. Mm. But I was like, you know what? Yeah, I tried something. And I proved I could do it. So I was like, you know what? Let me carry on doing this thing. Like, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let me just carry on doing this thing. So I got to a stage, right, where I was um, doing the music, doing the music, doing it. But it was like half and half. Like, I wasn't enjoying it. So I was in year 11, innit? Like, year, end of year 11, year 12. And I started busting it, innit? Like, I started selling, like, jewels in class and, like, in school and that. Mm-hmm. Like. Long story short, I got caught. Like, I got nabbed, innit? And they called my parents. So I imagine my mum... And like her brother found out on it, so it was a bit sticky. So man's come home now. And then obviously my uncle's taking my phone and like it's just long, like they're taking my phone and rest of the On that day I dropped a tune in it, but they didn't even know that I dropped a tune. Like they didn't even know I made music in it. So on that day I dropped a tune. And then my uncle was like, come downstairs, innit? So it was just me and him. He was like, come downstairs. And he was like, rap, rap for me, innit? And I was like, what? <laughs> 
I was like, bruv, I don't rap, but I knew I rapped in it, but I didn't want him to know that I rapped in it. So I was like, I don't rap, what do you mean? He said, rap, like, rap for me, like. I was like, bruv, I don't rap, like, what are you want about, innit? He said, fam, I just saw that you've dropped a new song, like, and this song is actually sick. And then, like, don't even like he was about to cry, and he was like, peace, like, don't do this drugs thing, like, just do music, innit? Like, take the music thing seriously. And mm. I was like, I was like, you're not probably saying this to me for me to stop busting, innit? Like, that's how I saw it. I was like, you're probably saying this to me so I can just stop busting it. But then I kind of went bed, slept on it. I was like, you know what, yeah? I'm actually not too bad. Like, I'm actually all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm actually hard. Like, that's what I started thinking. Like, I was thinking, I was like, I'm actually sick. Like, I can do this, innit? Fuck anyone that doesn't rate my thing. I'm going to make sure I bust. Since that day, I didn't look back. Like, I just... So you got like your sure. family supporting like with Bro, music thing. I'm like. telling you, yeah, if my <laughs> uncle didn't tell me that, I don't think I would have been doing it. I'm not gonna lie mm. to you, because it's like I was doing it, but I wasn't doing it. Do you know what I mean? I was just doing it to say yeah, I'd done music. I wasn't doing it, doing it. And it was kind of like for him to one, the guy's not really down with the kids, so he right, doesn't really right. understand our type of music. Mm. And two, it was like, what like like, why, one, why are you listening to my tune? I didn't even know that you liked that type of music. And he's like, you got something there. Like, mm. there's something there, innit? Like, if you work on it, you can honestly be the best. Like, and I tell him, that's like, like, you're not serious. Like, he named Richard. I was just like, you're not serious. <laughs> like, bro, like, I don't rap like that, innit? It was just a bit of a bants thing between me and a couple of friends. It's like, he said, take it seriously. Like, you never know. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this, bro. Let's do this. And... Done, like, yeah, we're done, and here I am, in it. The man, them. Oh, back off, back off. Your girl tryna wind up, back off. Guy like a fucking cat. Why is love the brrrr? I'm tryna step my brrrr. See your wife, you tryna give neck. Blasting and pushing out, acting sad. Show me the way to the gorilla. Show me the way to the cane. Bring my ass for filling up plate. Had MCs doing a Harlem shake on the set. Move like fucking step. If you're nervous, stay the chest. Ha! Ah. If you're nervous, say we are. So, uh, what's like a typical like uh, studio session for you? Like when you're in the studio? energy, energy. So the same it's energy, energy. All the time. Like. I, I I I use studio like how I would perform on stage. Right. Like there's even the song that I made with Jocelyn. Big up Jocelyn, my gang. Imagine like, but it was a freestyle. I swear down, we were all here, yeah. And then I was told Jocelyn to go through some beats. Yeah. Jocelyn slapped on a beat. I was like, yeah, this slaps, you know, like, that's like, run into the checks. I was like, yeah, this is gang, this is gang, yeah. Mm. And then I started freestyling. I just started freestyling the thing, bruv. And I think one of my hardest tunes yeah, I've yeah. made. Because, bruv, it was just natural, like, I'd done it out of, like, I'm thinking, if I'm at a show, this is how I'm gonna behave, isn't it? This is how I'm gonna, I'm gonna act reckless, like. I was saying, I was swearing, I was like, bitch, like, my ad <laughs> were mad, like, I was just doing a mad thing, and I just didn't give a shit, because it's like, that's music. Music's art. Mm-hmm. How are you feeling at the time? It's how I'm feeling. I was like, bro, let's get this money. Like, let's just get to the care. Like, the checks in it. Let's get there, innit? Mm-hmm. So, it's just gas. Like, the way I'm moving studio is just so gas. Like, I'll just do the maddest. Like, I'll probably hit the mic or just do a mad thing, innit? Just is what it is, innit? So, like, still. In your music now, do you have, like, influences from, like, who you listened to when you was younger? Or is it just, yeah, yeah? Who, 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 who influenced you? Phil Collins. Really? Facts. Phil Collins is like, if I can make a tune, I I swear down, yeah, I actually swear down, I'd rather make a tune with Phil Collins than any rapper today. And that's facts. That's Phil crazy. Collins is one of the hardest, like, pe- like artists, musicians that came out of life. Like, in general, we don't deserve Phil Collins. It's actually levels. So, like, from Tarzan, yeah. To, bro, man, don't think I'm joking. Like, it's either Phil Collins or, or like, Kurt Cobain. Those are the yeah. two people. I'll trade any rapper today for Kirk Cobain to come back to life <laughs> just to make sure you move him. Facts. That's mad. Like, those are the two guys. Why? Anyone else? Why? Like, why? Kirk Cobain, like, I feel like I watched his documentary, like, as a kid, and obviously I listened to his music as a kid, right? And it was like, the things that he went through, uh, like, growing up, kind of related to me, like, even just the way people, like, perceived him in school, like, and how people, like, just judged him for being who he was, innit? Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? And it's like, he told it through his music. Like, like he made a song called Rape Me, mm. like, talking about rape. But the way he's, like, you, if you hear his voice, the way he's singing to you, like, he's talking to you about, like, things that he's seen in life. And it's just like, 
I know how you feel. Like, I'm putting myself in this position and how you feel and how like you're acting. That's why I can, I can, I have so much time for Nirvana. And do you know what I mean? And like people like Phil Collins, do you know what I mean? Phil Collins always told a story. It's about love, isn't it? Like how he feels about someone he was dating and he would just make a happy song or like Another Day in Paradise, for example, is uh, talking about homeless people and people not living well and like everyday situations. Mm. Not talking about fucking bitches and all of that. He's talking about life. Like this is life. This is where what is happening. And it's like there was a time in my life where those things weren't really going my way, like family wise, isn't it? And like listening to Phil Collins really made me like see the bigger picture. Like there's more people less fortunate than us, isn't it? Right, right, right. That are living in worse predicaments. And it's like it made me see it. That's why like on what I'm working on right now, I'm working on a project. And one of my tunes, I used a. Um, a Phil Collins like refix in it of a tune of one of his tunes and like you'll see why I say like Phil Collins is a big influence to me and like he's mm. probably him and Kurt Cobain or like probably the two people but I have time for any day like that's crazy hard I think, still I think um, that's probably a big reason as well as why you stand out like, like I say when people have heard of you it's normally to do your shows and stuff but it's mm. always like like you, always, you do always stand out do you know what I mean that's yeah, pretty why because your way, the things that inspire you are what inspire most, most people, people your yeah. age or most people just doing what you're doing in the first place. Do you know what I mean? For real. Six, like, like, growing up, it, like, I listened to rap, yeah, but I preferred listening to, like, I preferred listening to, like, Maroon 5 and, mm. like, just bare, like, do you know what I mean? Like, sometimes you just don't want to hear all of that <laughs> fucking your bit. Dun, 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 dun. Like, sometimes you don't want to hear that. Like, sometimes I just want to sit down and listen to some, like, Amy Winehouse one day mm. or like on my way here I was listening to Lana Del Rey like do you know what I mean like sometimes you just want to sit down and listen to other tunes like like because I feel like rap is so air right now I have to listen to these type of tunes because that's the only way I'm getting influenced because I ain't getting influenced from any of these rappers <laughs> today like UK rappers and that's a fact the only person that really stands out for me people like Stormzy and Jay Huss like mm. those are the two people that I can say really stand out for me that I can say they're in their own league and you can't compare them to anyone else do you know what I mean but apart from that no, nah, there's no one I can say you know what I rate you like I think you're you're up there like mm. do you know what I mean because the music I make you can't put a finger on it like you don't know where it is isn't it? and I feel like that's a good thing that like, you don't know what it is and it's gonna be it's it gonna shock people like the the projects that I have the project I have coming out will shock people because there's no rap on it I'm not okay. rapping like at all mm. that's what I'm saying I can't wait to show what I can do in it because there's no rap it's just straight real life situations that is just made into singing like it's gonna be a mad thing like, mm. I can't wait so and beg us for it um so YS yeah that's, that's your brother yeah right? older brother big up YS Grease <laughs> Um, so did you start music around the same time or? YS was old school, old school YS. Mm. Like YS is old school. Like if you find the videos, you'll find the videos in it. <laughs> but old school Croydon, in it. Like YS was old school, in it. Mm. Like and obviously, do you know what it is? Like there was a lo long story short. It was like YS was mixing with the wrong people, in it. And you know, growing up as a teenager, young, like you mix with the wrong people, gangs, violence, and all of that, in it. So I said to YS, like, one day I was like, why don't we make music together, innit? Mm. And YS was like, no, like, because nah, like, <laughs> my music, what I talk about, because YS has seen a lot of things, innit, in his mm. life, like, I'm not going to go into it because that's for him to say, right, it, but yeah, yeah. he's seen a lot of mad things, innit? So it's like, you, like, you won't, my music and your music won't link because you don't talk about that, but I do, innit? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, bro, but do you know what it is? We can make this thing where it's like, we don't need to talk about that. Like, we can talk about just general things. Again, like, life, like, we made a tune called 97s. We're talking about trainers. Mm. <laughs> literally, we were talking about trainers. In Nike 97s, we were talking about the trainers. Like, literally, that's what we rapped about. We rapped about trainers, like, and it's probably one of my hardest songs I have. Mm. Like, 97s goes off at of every dance. Because we're talking about wearing 97s. everyone can relate, relate, relate to. to. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And he was like, you know what, that might work. But I said to him, like, because obviously around his area that he used to like rap, it was like 12, innit? SE 12, like near 12, innit? So I was like, why don't you do this yeah? Why don't we do like cool arting 12, innit? So it's like, you're not in the 
all the pasta, beef and all of that. Mm-hmm. This is our thing, like, it's 12, isn't it? Like, we can do 12. Still to, re, you're yeah. still representing it, but in a positive way where you're doing music, innit? And it's like, you know what? Yeah, that kind of works. Like, you were fucking with it. And I was like, I was surprised, but it was really fucking with it. Mm. And then it was like, people knew me because I'd done grime, innit? So people were like, oh, yeah, masterpiece, masterpiece. But nobody really knew who YS was, innit? And then I was like, to YS, yeah, it was like, last year, I was like, you need to get more known, like, we need to both be getting leveraged together. Mm. So you'd be fucking up the rap game, I'd be fucking up the crime game. And I mean, just, we both come together and like, do you know what I mean? And do something, and like do a mad thing. So Wise did that and he made hill figures, innit? And mm. when he made hill figures and he dropped on SoundCloud, that's when Wise started going up. Like people notice that Wise is a serious contender. Like, yeah. And honestly, Wise is, he's my brother and I know it's biased, but I thought he's like one of my favourite rappers. And the facts, because like every tune that Wise makes, I can enjoy it. I can say, full heart, I know it's Wyatt and I know it's him in it. It's mm. not, he ain't trying to be like anyone else. Do you know what I mean? Wyatt, I see, he's my brother and I see him in competition. Right. Do you know what I mean? That's why I feel like we work so well together because it's like, I see Wyatt as competition. He sees my competition. When we go into the booth, we compete who's versus could be better. Like, we uh, we go at it like that. Like, mm. bro, even the Jocelyn tune, when he, he was, imagine, <clears throat> I, I spun him on a freestyle, innit? On the little freestyle bit. Yeah, yeah. He got, he tried to do the freestyle thing and it didn't work. So he went back and he actually wrote lyrics. So I'll come back from jerk shop and I've come here and I'm like, bro, cool. Like, my man's done my thing. And Justin's like, I'm not gonna lie, your brother, <laughs> hey, you still. And then he's gassing it, like, my brother's come here. And he's like, yeah, so like, hey, like, he will bear gas. Like, yeah, my yeah, brother yeah. said, brother, hey, you're the tune, like, do you know what I mean? Like, Competition, healthy competition, is making us both Get do better. well. Yeah. And do you know what I mean? And it's like, because we're brothers, the only other brothers in this thing kind of like Skeps and Jamie. Mm. But me and YS, even people think we're twins, because mm. like, we're always together. I'm always with YS, unless he's doing uni, I'm mm. always with him. It's because we both do the same thing, and it's both keeping us out of trouble, and it's like, it's getting us to where we want to. And we feel like, even his name, like YS Tech Dinner, because he sees, all these other artists, he's taking your dinner, like, we're going to take your dinner, like, do you know what I mean? Like, we're fucking up things right now, like, we're doing full festivals, yeah, and we're performing in big venues, yeah, this year, and it's just us guys doing it. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Whereas your favourite rapper probably got, like, 100k followers, and he ain't doing what we're doing. That's what I'm saying, we're taking your dinner, like, we're taking it, like, it's ours, like, this is our thing, innit? And we're going to make sure we win, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm showing you, like, man don't know, understand, like, people is like, his name is so clever, and I'm like, it is, it's because Tech Dinner knows, like, we're going to take your dinner, like, we're taking <laughs> it. And, like, my name Masterpiece, my real name's Peace. So, Masterpiece, do you know what I mean? It's like, this is a masterpiece. That's why even my EP, like, this is a little exclusive, it could be called How to Make a Masterpiece. Do you know what I mean? Because man, them not know how to make masterpieces. You feel what I'm saying? <laughs> Real levels. Get what I mean? Like, mm. that's how we're trying to do this thing. Like, 12, NTN, AB, Ami Boys, like, we all linked up, fam. Like, it's, it's actually mad. If you see what we could do, I like, show your head will spin. Like, your head will spin. The things we, we perform, like, like, bro, black boys doing, like, some... Nirvana type of shit like you wouldn't you wouldn't like you don't see it like mm-hmm. do you know what I mean I'm bare gas I can't lie Wanna pull me wait Wanna pull me we all got you Ay, wait pause chasing money getting joggy Ay, rappers wanna be me rappers wanna be me rappers wanna be my buddy wait wait Ay, ay I wouldn't even like these guys mate four feet and there's a prize Ay, take my money that's your life Ay, take my money that's your girl dip dip I might as well Slag food from the cellular Say you're on me like, where are ya? 12, 12, yeah, I'm telling ya, eh? 12, 12, yeah, I'm telling ya like you just mentioned some some of your groups like was oh, groups you're affiliated with like affiliated. MTN and AB and 12 and AB like what's, what's all there? Ami Boys Best crew. Honestly, yeah. my favourite crew is South London in, Lo- bro, in London, innit? Yeah. Bro, when I tell you, listen to this, yeah, they don't know this. Only probably one of them niggas. Mm. When I imagine me, this is how we linked up. So imagine, I was hearing about them, innit? Mm-hmm. Kind of like how everyone was hearing about me. I was hearing about them, innit? And I preened them for a while, innit? And I was like, yeah, you know what? These guys are really cold. Mm. So I got a boiler room, innit? And, I, and, and they were in the same lineup as me, innit? So I was like, oh, fuck. These guys are probably going to spin us, man, innit? Like, I was bare nervous. Like, I was like, oh, Fuck, like, why do these guys have to be on the same set list as us? Like, because I knew they bring energy, like, yeah. I know, innit? So I was like, all right, cool. I know what I'm going to do, innit? So we were before them. So we perform now. So these men have come now and literally 
he's literally, Omari had literally touched the decks and it's gone. When I knew it was on, yeah, when yeah. I knew these guys were not playing, how can the first bar be, nobody's on when we're on if it's on and it's on? Bruv, I was like, yep, yeah, it's a rap still. I was like, this show is a rap. They're going to fuck it up. I had a feeling. And one of their, like, the, the, the front, one of the main guys, the name called Niggs, isn't it? Yeah. And he reminds me of me. Mm. And he's gassed. Like, you think I'm crazy at a show. You see Niggs, he starts beating barriers, like, beating, like, fucking, like, instrument, anything around him, you'll yeah, kick yeah, it. Like, yeah. he goes mad, like, like me. Like, he goes nuts. So I saw my competition, like, I was watching him, and I was just like, bruv, I actually want to be like this guy. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so me, I had to DM them like a yeah, and I because I knew they weren't gonna DM me. So I was like a little bitch, you know. I had to DM them and I was like, yo, man, I'm really fucking with you guys. Like yeah, I was yeah. trying to make a team with you guys. Like, I DM them like a fucking yeah, so like a girl. Like, <laughs> like I DM the bar. It's like, yo, bro, can we get to see you? <laughs> like, think about. It. I still have the DM. I swear on my yeah, life. Yeah. Like I DM the bar like a yeah, like, and I thought you were gonna air me. Like I was sitting there thinking, this dog's gonna air me. Like this is just embarrassing. Like. Like, this guy probably going to air me. Mm-hmm. Cool, then he answered. But then I DM Niggs, and Niggs was like, yeah, 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 one day, man, we'll get in booth, innit? And then they had their radar takeover, innit? And I was, I, and I'm always at radar at the time, innit? Mm. So I DM Niggs, and I'm like, yo, bro, I'm at radar later on, let's link up, innit? And he's like, yeah, I'm doing my little session. He's like, come through, innit? And then I didn't come through because I had studio, innit? But I said, we need to link up this week. Mm. He said, all right, cool, I'll make it a point that we link up. So then we actually did it. Like, we actually linked up. So, like, Ami Boys is with Cosmo Pike, P from Lee, Amari, S1, Niggs, P from Lee, Mussolini. Like, there's, there's just, there's loads of them. Mm. Team Money, like, dark. bro, when I tell you, one of my favourite units, like, in music. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of underground rappers in this game. And uh, there's a lot I don't rate. Do you know what I mean? Because I just thought I didn't want to sound like everyone else. Mm-hmm. But Ami Boys, again, they, I am a fan. Like, like the, that's why it scares me. Like, they're actually my brethren. Like, yeah, yeah, I can yeah. actually say, bro, these men are my brethren. And I honestly look up to them because I think they're so hard. Do you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Cool. Uh, so I met them in it and I was gassed. I was like, yeah, gang. NTN now. I met NTN through one of my boys in college and I didn't even know that what, that they, right. he was in NTN. Okay, okay. So imagine NTN. I never really heard of them beforehand, didn't it? Like I knew about I mean Boys, but I never really knew who NTN was and I wasn't really in the underground scene like that. I was doing grime, innit? So I didn't really know. So there was one set, right, in a grime scene that one of their members came to my set and his name called JP. Mm. So he's come now and he's rapped. And his bar was like, Oi, you, don't chat bad. When I put you, I just like a cat flap. You'll get a backhand for the back chat. Are you mad? I was like, who is this Don? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, who is this Don? I was like, like I'm Grease, innit? On the mic, innit? But he was Grease, innit? Like, I was like, fuck. He's the only guy I would want to fuck with. But I didn't really want to chat to him because I didn't know who he was. And he was kind of like on his own thing. Like mm. he was just chilling and like no one really was talking to him. So yeah. I was like, probably just what he just wants to say, you have his own space. Cool. One of my boys that is in the group, and I didn't even, I wasn't even aware they knew each other. We've gone to, we're, I'm in college now, isn't it? So I was just like, bro, with some guy that I met at, at radio yesterday, he like, bruv, his lyrics were mad. Like, and he's like, who is it? My, and he was telling me, he's like, my boy went to radio yesterday as well. <laughs> I was like, who's your boy? He's like, oh, JP. But I didn't know him by his name right. at the time. So I was like, oh, I don't know who that is. But I was like, bruv, the guy's bar was like, oi, you, don't you? And he's like, yeah, that's my boy. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what? He said, yeah, we're in the same group. And I said, wait, you do music? He was like, yeah, bruv, like, I rap, right? Like, I was like, for laugh, you don't rap. Like, he was like, bruv, I rap. I said, so I've known you this for this long. Right, and right, you right. never told me you rap. You said, brother, like, there's nothing to really sell, like. Do you know what I mean? Like, I rap in it. So I was like, prove it, like. And he actually rapped for me. Like, he rapped, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, you know what? Yeah, but I feel actually sick. He said, come studio session on Friday, innit? Come to the studio session. And I bucked everyone. Like, on the same day, I bucked the whole man, them, innit? So we come to the studio session, and I was like, I didn't really know anyone in there, innit? But... There was one guy called Luke Warm. He was very warm, and like, he used to come, like, he would say, oh, come on, man, them, let everybody else, let's just chill, catch a vibe. Mm-hmm. Man just slapped on the mic, and then there was a beat. He slapped the beat, and then, obviously, I started writing the hook, and they didn't know I rapped, and they didn't know who I was. I started writing the hook, I was like, bye, 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 and I was like, you know what, yeah, this slaps, in it. And all of them were looking at me, they're like, right, that's what it done, that's grand rap. Why is he rapping <laughs> like that? So I started rapping, like, I was doing my, my flows and that. Mm-hmm. Like, and they're like, oh, this guy's sick. So then from there, from making that song with them, 
It's that building, that building, building. I fucking D. You see the D that works yeah. there? I fucking him every single day. <clears throat> That's still that I do today. Like, I fucking D every single day, day in, day out. And then we just built a relationship where... D, like, that's my brother, do you know what I mean? I talk to him about anything. We do music together, do you know what I mean? There. So mm. it was like, I met the group. The way we all met was just fucked. Like, I met them because I was like, I was so jail. I was like, these guys are sick. Like, Ami boys are sick. And then I met NTN through, like, grime. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, and they don't even do grime. So it's like, we all linked up and now we do shows together and it's just fucked. Mm. Like, because it's like, Ami, Ami boys energy is just off the scales and you got NTN's b- tunes yeah and you got my tunes and it's just it's a rap like, it's a rap like it's actually a rap still like when you talk about everything like all of that all like, coming together you talk, talk about like you know the festivals you've been doing and yeah all the stuff that you kind of want to do and stuff it's like it's hard to to remember that you're only 18 bro like, yeah I know do you know what I mean like, I know so, <laughs> I hear I hear exactly that like and, I, and how I see it's like I feel a lot of artists like feel like age is a restriction. Mm. Like it's like you have to be. I feel I feel like this like growing up. Yeah, I've always had like a vision that I don't want to be a no one in it. Like that was always my vision. I was like I don't want to be a no one, but I didn't know like what my plan was in it. Like, right. I didn't know what was in store for me. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it was kind of like what am I actually going to do? And I was like, like, there was times I was working in retail and I was just like, I don't even want to do this. Like, And I feel like being eight, my age, like 18, I just, me, I have a lot of hunger in it. Like, I want to win. Like, when I mean win, I don't mean win like, oh, just win. Just like, do you know what I mean? I want to win. Like, yeah. I want to make sure everyone eats. Like, demand them from me to the man them to my family do you know what I mean I want everyone to eat and it was kind of like I had to like really push like push barriers and make sure this happened like cool like we're doing Village Underground on the 1st of June right. and then like we're doing Guap Party we're doing O2 Islington in September mm. I'm not even supposed to say that I don't even care like this is exclusive <laughs> man whether you watch it or not you're going to see that do you know what I mean we're doing really big things that you wouldn't expect mm-hmm. and it's like it, what I'm trying to show to people is that whatever it is you can that you put your mind to, it will happen if you have faith and you your your heart like work hard work. Hard, yeah. You work hard because like, I feel like I'm living proof. Like I'm telling you, half of the things I've done I never imagined imagined in life I would ever do it mm. ever. Like Boy Better No Festival, I done that when I was 16. And I was thinking, what the hell? Like, <laughs> I'm in the O2 no, no, arena. No, no, no. Bro, say that again one more time. The, the, the um, Boy Better No Festival. Yeah, when, how, old, 16, how old are you? 16, 16 bro. 16. Family, Still. That's what I mean, you say it like bare casual. Bro, like, that's a big deal. That's what, that, do you know what I mean? But it hasn't deal. sunk in. Like, <laughs> it doesn't feel real. Like, it doesn't feel like I actually did that. Like, mm. do you know what I mean? Like, go and doing a BBC, Cyan Anderson. Like, Again, I didn't think that would ever happen. Being on Kiss Grime with Rude Kid, mm-hmm. Rude Kid that I used to listen to back in the day, right, I see right, him every right. day, like here, like like things that I didn't imagine. Like this year, I'm doing Best of All, Apple Sap, Leeds, Love Box. I didn't even know that I could do that. Mm. Do you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like I feel like do not let anyone stop you from being you and doing what you have to do. Like if you believe in your thing, in it, then everyone will believe in it. But if you don't believe in your thing, then no one will believe in it. Do you know what I mean? Like, like, cool. For example, Drake did not get those followers just like that. Right. Do you know what I mean? Stormzy didn't get those followers just like that. J Hus, do you know what I mean? It was hard work and time, and do you know what I mean? I know doing music is the hardest thing ever. I knew what I got in myself into. I'm too far in to look back. Do you know what I mean? So I know I'm gonna go like to the top. Like mm. when you when you're in a car, right, and you get to the top, right. You get you get to the top of the hill, right? If you let go, so if you stop, what happens to the car? It rolls down. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Whereas if you think, cool, I, I can't do this, but I'm going to carry on pushing, pushing, like breaking barriers, it'll work. There's days, trust me, there's days I wake up and I'm like, is this thing really worth it? Mm. Do you know what I mean? That I swear to you, like, I feel like that probably three times a week, I'm like, is this thing really worth it? But I was like, no, 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 we've got to keep it going. Like, I didn't get this far to stop. Right, right, right. Do you get it? Do you know that way that I did not get this far to stop at all? Like, guys don't want to see this 
pop. Guys don't want to see this happen. Like, teachers in school didn't think <laughs> this was going to happen. Bruv, how did my teacher see me on some Selfridges thing? On, in, 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 um, my teacher saw me on the Selfridges thing in um, Oxford Circus, innit? The um, window. Mm. She couldn't believe it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, even, like, <clears throat> I, like I'm starting to try and do modelling stuff as well. Like, the things I'm doing... I promise you, I did not think this was ever going to happen, like, ever, ever going to happen. And it's like, mm. believe in it. Believe and work hard. And I'm telling you, you get that. Like, facts, whatever it is, dancer, rapper, actor, whatever you want to do, whatever you put your mind to, I promise you, you work hard, it will pay off. Like, something's got to give, innit, at the end of the day. If you work, your like, your hardest... Trust me, you'll get there. So if you've done all this at 18, yeah, what's what's the end goal? Like, what what is your dreams? Like, what you, how far do you wanna take this? Oh, to the to the end. To the ends. To the end. Rockstar, like, rockstar, like, rockstar, yeah. ev- bro. To the <laughs> end. Like, I when I tell you, I wanna be the best. Like, when I don't wanna just be an artist that. Like, you know when you, you okay you got you got okay you got you got the main artists so you got like the storm season that mm-hmm. and then you just got artists mm-hmm. I don't want to be just an artist I want to be the best. the best like you know when you talk about big and Tupac in high regard yeah I want to be talk, spoken about like that do you know what I mean you know when you talk about NWA I want to be spoken about like that mm. do you know what I mean I want to be spoken about in so much high regard that you can never no man can walk on this earth and do what I did do you know what I mean like Michael Jackson nobody could do what Michael mm-hmm. Jackson did. Do you know what I mean? I don't want to just be comfortable as an artist that owns bread, does a couple of shows. No, man. I've got to be the best. Like, I'm looking at sky's the limit in it. So wherever, like, to make me stop, you would have to kill me. Mm. And that's just the levels, in it? Like, man's going to get there regardless, in it? And that's just facts. Um, I will make sure in my power I will get there. Mm-hmm. And not no one, no man, unless you kill me, will stop this from prevailing, in it? Yeah, well, fam... I'm glad I can be part of the journey. Levels, man. Come on, bro. My G, still. Thank you, man.